Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is another training video that I'm doing for my folks. In this video, we're going to talk about pro forma Alta surveys or land title surveys and what makes them different from a normal land title survey. Um, I am embarrassed to admit this is something I learned about relatively recently. Um, it's about, about f five years ago. I did my first pro forma land title survey. I hadn't done one before that. And um, it is definitely a different process, a more complicated process than what we would go through on a typical Alta survey or land title survey. So I want to do, uh, I want to explain uh, the differences in this video. Uh, this will probably be the first video in a, I don't know, two or three video set. Uh, we're going to actually look at it. I'll walk you through a, a hypothetical example of a pro forma land title survey, walk you through that, that actual process. But in this video, I just want to explain what is it, what is a pro forma land title survey and what makes it different from a regular land title survey. Okay, so that word pro forma, we talk about a pro forma alta survey or a pro forma land title survey. That word pro forma literally means you're following the form for politeness. So you're, you're being polite and you're going to kind of go through the motions. Okay, but it's not, it's, you're just doing it to be polite. It's not the real thing. Okay, so in this context, that word means it has the same form as the real thing, but it's not actually the real thing itself. So a pro forma land title something, pro forma land title survey looks like a real land title survey, but it isn't quite. It isn't quite a real land title survey. Okay, so what makes a pro forma land title survey different? I'm going to give you three things that make it different from a regular land title survey. So the first thing is, and this is the most important of the three, the parcel that you're doing the survey of doesn't exist. It doesn't exist yet. Um, so that's what makes it different. Um, now, you, you, you might say, why on God's green earth would you be trying to survey something that doesn't exist? Well, there's actually some good reasons. So um, it could be that somebody wants to create that parcel, um, but in order to do that, they need financing. And so they're going to finance the parcel they want to create using the to-be-created parcel as collateral for the loan that they're going to use to create the parcel. That, that's basically the situation. Now, I most commonly see this with lease parcels. So someone is going to come in and lease a portion of a larger parcel. The lease parcel doesn't exist yet. The bank asks for a land title survey. Okay, but I also see it on the land development side where let's say you're going in and you're doing a subdivision. Maybe you've got a 300 lot subdivision and you've created the first 50 lots um, and now you want to you want to go in and do the next phase of the subdivision, and so you want to the developer wants to get financing for the next phase of the subdivision, but that parcel that that's going to be subdivided in the next phase doesn't exist yet as its own parcel. So you would do a pro forma land title survey to get that financing. Okay, so that's the big difference. The parcel you're surveying on the pro forma land title survey doesn't exist yet. Now these other two differences are a consequence of this first. Okay, so the second difference is there isn't a land description yet. Okay, now that's important because you're supposed to show the land description on the face of your, uh, of your ALTA survey, your land title survey, and it's also what surveyors are supposed to actually survey. So we don't, we don't survey tax assessor maps or even other survey maps. We, we should always be going back to the land description in, in the vesting deed. Well, in this case, there is no vesting deed and there is no land description because the parcel doesn't exist yet. So we'll talk about in the next video, how do you deal with this problem, okay? The third difference, again, stemming from the first, is there isn't a land title report yet. You can't do a land title survey without a title report. Well, in this case, there isn't a title report because there isn't a parcel yet. So the title company doesn't know how to put together the title report. Again, this is a problem that, be, that can be solved. You solve it in the process that you run through for a pro forma ALTA survey or pro forma land title survey. So. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through that process with an example. We're going to talk about how this works, but I wanted to just introduce you to this concept of a pro forma ALTA survey or pro forma, pro forma land title survey. Okay, remember, it looks like a real land title survey, but it isn't quite. It's not, it's not quite real. Why not? Because the parcel that you're surveying doesn't exist yet. That means there isn't a land description yet, and it also means you don't have a land title report yet. So in the next video, we'll, we'll look at an example. I'll walk you through that multi-step process and we'll teach you how you solve these problems when you're doing a pro forma land title survey. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.